Total Impact. My name is Dirty Dutch Mantel. I'm joined today by Mario Savoldi as we look at the massive abyss. Six foot six, 200, uh, 320 pounds making his way through the ring. And as, as, we, as we know, one half of the IWA Tag Team Champions along with Miguel Perez, who will be here shortly. Mario, how are you today? I'm great, and I'll tell you what, what a great card, another great week. We have everything in store for you this week. We're gonna be seeing this up. Now, wait a minute. Mr. Focus. Has he gotten back anything? I mean, is he still walking around like he doesn't know who he is or where he is? Miguel Perez, Mr. Focus, making his way through the ring. Look at him. To join <laughs> his uh, his partner, Abyss Focus. Focus, Focus. <laughs> Great show today, as we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen. They'll be defending their tag team titles here against the team of Andy Anderson, El Lobo, and Eric Alexander, as we see Miguel Perez address the cameraman and address the crowd here at a sold-out Roberto Clemente Stadium, San Juan, Puerto Rico. A good look at the challengers, Eric Alexander right there in front of him with the longer hair, El Lobo, Andy Anderson from uh, uh, Edmonton, Alberto, Canada, making their way to the ring. So Eric Alexander's a big kid. Why well, both of these kids? He's 6'3", he's, yeah. he's 250, 255. Probably a pro for two years. Andy Anderson probably a pro for six, seven years. Probably 5'11", five, five, maybe 225, but strong, sturdy. But Miguel and Abyss, kind of a dominating. Side, dominating team and highly, highly unpredictable. Joined at ringside by uh, the manager, Angel. Angel, well, Angel. Angel Rodriguez. My buddy. People here trying to call uh, Miguel some names, and I don't think he wants to put up with it. I don't really think he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's like in space. <laughs> I think saying that Miguel Perez is in space, that's like an upgrade. <laughs> I don't think he knows exactly. Well, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't but... know where he is. Nobody else knows where he is, and he doesn't care. I, I just, Abyss, Abyss, now here's Abyss trying to give him some encouragement. Telling him, stay focused, stay focused. But that angel really annoys me. He really does annoy me. Okay, here's the, here's the crowd getting behind Andy Anderson and Eric Alexander. It's for the IWA Tag Team Championship. Oh, the yeah, power of Abyss. Strength, yeah. This, you know, I tell you what, you know, watching so many years with Andre the Giant, I mean, and these guys, I don't know where they think they could do this, and they go up against these mega men. I mean, this guy's enormous. Yeah, he's great. He's huge. And, and I used Andre the Giant because I tell you what, he's in that class. That would have been a good match, him and Andre the Giant. Yeah, but even Andre would have dwarfed this guy. But that does look like Andre and uh, just a regular-sized guy back in the day that Andre, uh oh a good, a good move by... Andy Anderson taking the wheels out. You see this massive crowd here, Roberto Clemente Coliseum. I've seen Carolina, massive crowds everywhere we went. Ah, <laughs> uh, close line by Andy Anderson. He's not knocking a abyss, is not going off his feet. Wait a minute, going for that. Oh, oh now oh. he's trying to hook uh -huh. him. Oh, oh I got think they're gonna go off there. Oh, good move by both of them. Good move by both of them. Smart move. Double suplex. Wait a minute, oh, uh, <laughs> here's Miguel. And to his partner, uh oh. Whoa, oh. good move. Oh. Hey, they, they, they might have been... Wow, that was close. We're gonna have to take a break here. Just shortly, let's hang with this as long as we can. Eric Alexander making... Uh, his first appearance in this match on the best, driving him back, sent him in for the ride of reversal. A shoulder tackle, a best doesn't go anywhere. Neither one of them goes anywhere. You know, Eric Alexander, a big kid. He can't knock a best off his feet. Ducks a clothesline, ducks another big elbow, and a big nice shoulder move. block. He, nice got him, move. he got him moving and used it. Uh-oh, clothesline over the top. Whoa. And this Eric, fans, don't go away. We're gonna be right back. IWA Total Impact yeah. continues right here. <laughs> don't go away.
Okay, glad you made the trip back, fans. The match continues here. IWA Tag Team title match between Abyss, you see on your screen right there, taking on uh, and pounding and dominating Eric Alexander. Both these guys, big guys. Now, Miguel Perez getting the tag from his partner, coming in, see if he can, see if he can do a little more damage on Eric Alexander. Well, you know, the thing that Abyss and, and uh, Perez have going for him is with their weight, their size, they're just gonna wear these guys down sooner or later. Uh-oh, Miguel misses a, uh-oh, a potato drop off the shoulders by Eric Alexander. They're doing some nice moves. Uh, you, you gotta give these two kids the, credit. Let me tell you the difference, I think, between these teams. Perez has the experience, and Abyss has the size. Plus, I think they've been together longer. Oh, he barely kept from landing on that head. Uh, they, I think they got the experience and they got the size and they've been together longer than, uh, than Lobo and, and Eric Alexander. But this is by, this is not by accident. This is by design. The boss put, this put together, these guys yeah. together just because he can say, hey, I got my tag team champions defending the belt and defending them against the team that probably has a, a less than 100% chance or at least a 50% a, well, a chance of taking the belts. I noticed Ah, good never... shot by Miguel. I noticed you never used the word smarter. <laughs> well, a, a lot, a lot smarter, and in, in he wants to stack everything in, in his in his favor. And to tell the truth, I don't blame him. No, I, I meant was, for I meant for Miguel and Abyss. You didn't use the word smarter. <laughs> oh, with those guys, I don't think they're smarter, but they are thugs. Oh yes, they, they are. are. Big, yes, they're strong. They are. And yes, they the, are. Uh, you know, when you look at Abyss. He doesn't look like he's in the, he's the sharpest uh, bulb in the chandelier, the brightest bulb in the chandelier. And you know Miguel, Miguel's not a Mensa candidate. You know that right off the bat. Well, but you know, I seen Angel do something here that you gotta give him credit for. He's talking to Miguel outside the ring and he keeps telling him, stay focused. He keeps focusing him. And I guess to keep, look at him, Miguel's wandering around. He don't even know where the heck he is. Well, he's doing some damage to Eric Alexander. You see the photographers surround the ring here. One photographer from uh, Lucha Liberty, Puerto Rico. One of the other photographers, I think, is from uh, the Philadelphia, some newspaper in Philadelphia that, that comes down here and covers IWA matches here in Puerto Rico. Wow. And for the cover, a best on Eric Alexander. Eric Alexander, of course, is is native from this area, lives close to Carolina here. He's almost, he's almost a hometown guy. Wow. But I never knew that. Well, he's kind of a hometown guy, but if you kind of know him, you know, you wouldn't like him because he's a little <laughs> bit of a, a lot of these people don't much like him. Oh, my sunset oh, wait, go. Referee tied up at the moment with Angel, the referee. Ricky was there, rose in for the count a little bit late, and Miguel coming up, retaliating with a clothesline. I tell you, he had him down long enough for that pin. Fans, stay tuned. Later on today's program, his first appearance here on IWA Total Impact, Jeff Jarrett will be here live and in person. Abyss back in the ring, laying the 320 pounds on Eric Alexander, El Lobo in the corner asking the ref, please do your job. Please, I'm, I'm daring you to look over there in that corner every now and then. Well, I tell you what, they're really punishing him right now. 320 pounds across the next fans. We're going to take a break. We're going to be back right now. IWA Total Impact continues right after this. Back to the action here. 12,000 plus people here in Roberto Clemente Coliseum, our stadium in Carolina, Puerto Rico. The IWA Tag Team Title Match. Abyss and Miguel Perez champions right now. And they're being challenged by Eric Alexander, who you see in the ring, getting the soup beat out of him, and El Lobo, who wants to get in and probably get the soup beat out of him in the process. Well, you notice know, something I noticed on the great camera shot that, that we just had was the whole top. You can see all the people standing up on the top. See them all the way up on top. That's right, wrestling fans, this is IWA. And when it comes to your area, you've got to catch it. Oh, yeah. And, and for the ride, Miguel Perez coming up with a kick right to the midsection. And this is where the experience takes over. Miguel Perez has been in the profession a long, long time, and now he's taunting the guy a little bit. I'm on a drop kick, but even Eric Alexander is not to his feet, and he lives by the old adage, when you got them down, keep them down. Put the boots to him yep. when you get them Well, look, look, look at this, okay. look at this, look at this. Oh, wait a minute, look he made this. one, two. Whoa! Oh, Miguel made a mistake there. And a spinning heel kick. 
But he'll make him I'm pay McGill. now. You know, McGill's a good athlete. He may oh, be a fantastic athlete. He may not be hitting on all eight cylinders, but he is in great shape and a great athlete. Of course, a member of the Los Periquas uh, tag group in the WWF several years ago. And very popular. And with Hurricane Castillo, with Savio, Savio Vega, Vega, who is now the boss, boss here in the IWA. So what you got, you got a lot of guys from the WWF have have returned back to Puerto Rico and they are causing quite a stir here. 12,000 people here would like nothing better than Eric Alexander and El Lobo Andy Anderson to take these belts away from Abyss and Miguel Perez right here and right now, I might add. Well, you know something that, that people have to keep in mind is that when Savio Vega, the boss, and Miguel Perez was part of the Los Mariquas, so was Castillo. Yeah, Castillo was there too. And he's the only one in this group that didn't go over with the boss. Yeah, well, he's got a, he's kind of a loner, and he always has been. His dad was the same way, second generation wrestler. Eric Alexander coming off, met with a, met with a slam oh, by the massive abyss, right, right abyss up on the second rope. Oh, this could be devastating. Wait a minute, reaching for divine inspiration. This could be Let's see if devastating. Oh. He goes to the well. Whoa. Eric G moves. And a best for his troubles. That was life-saving. He on, meets on absolutely nothing part. except mat and body on the way down. The force of gravity bringing him down. What is the force of gravity? 32 feet per Ooh. second? <laughs> I read that one time. Did you? I wrote it down on a piece of paper, and then I read it back to myself. <laughs> so it must be true. El Lobo getting the tag now. <laughs> and Miguel, the recipient of Lobo's inactivity in the corner. Whoa! Dude. Dude. He, he, Dude. What? He put He's him up ready. The Look at him. He wants to go. He wants Beautiful to go. Move. Beautiful move by Lobo. El Lobo, Canadian, of course. Oh. Power slam him. He got 320 that pounds. One, two. Whoa. Saved by Miguel Perez. Miguel Perez, and this thing would have been over. Hey, Lobo got 320 pounds moving, used his own weight against him, used his own leverage, got him turned, and took him down. I tell you, these two Every kids are very impressive together. Uh oh, went for the splash in the corner. Look at this, this, look at this. One, two. Oh, <laughs> almost had it, not quite. Referee Ricky Rosario now setting a, a miss, a reversal. Lobo back into the ropes. Oh, uh, beautiful uh, move. Uh, and this is the finish. Yeah. Signature night. move, one. Oh, save. save, save. Well, the it's abyss. good for the goose, it's good for the gander. The abyss dump applied by abyss. Not many guys kick out of that move. Another reversal. Oh, uh, look at the eight. Oh, he rocks oh. up. Yeah, but. Oh. Angel down. Okay. Oh, wow. Setting power bomb. One, two, oh. oh Almost had him. had him. Almost Listen, had him. Everybody now, here thought he had him. Now, Eric G up. He's got his, he's got his straps down. He's going for the kick. Wait a minute. Going for the stunner. Oh, he, That's Miguel's signature yeah, move. Yeah. Let's see if he's got him. One, two. No, saved. Saved by Lobo. Now this, this match is heating up now. Boy, Tag team up. titles on the line. Miguel in, a kick to Lobo. A Here stunner goes no, for the stunner, he pushes him off. Of it. Oh, now going for the howling. This is the howling. Oh. oh. Nailed him with the belt. Got him with the belt. He had the belt in his hand. See if the referee can get it. One, two, kick out. Oh, no. Uh, too late. Too late. Too late. So close, but yet so far. Oh, they were kind of close there. They sure were. And you see what these guys were meant for their troubles. Great match. And we got a heck of a lot more to come. Hey. Okay, Abyss and Miguel Perez retain the IWA Tag Team Heavyweight titles. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna be right back. I gotta get a puppy.